It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, racing games is one of my favorite styles of games. I just love racing games. And so today we're going to be taking a look at Snow Tales, the latest reprint. The game came out originally from the Lamont Brothers, from their own company, was then reprinted by Asmodee, and now has been reprinted yet again by uh, Renegade, Renegade Game Studios. And so, obviously it's a few years old. Does the game hold up to today's games? Was it worth reprinting? Let me give you an overview of how the game works, and then I'll tell you what I think of this racing game. Here's everything that comes in the game. You're going to get a finish line, a start line. You're going to get the... Uh, these are the actual racers themselves with the where the cards will be played, where the brake will be placed. These are the brakes. You have cards for each player. And then the little sled for them. And then the main component here is all of these tiles, which you use to build whatever track you want to, basically. So, let me set up a track here and show you how the game plays. So here we have a, a track set up. Obviously the real tracks in the game would not be this short. I just set this up to give you an example. We have two players there on the starting line. Yellow will be one, blue will be two. And each player gets five cards, their sled, and you put a three break in that spot and then you're off to the races. <laughs> so, here's what you do on your turn. You can play cards to your sled up to three as long as they are the same number. So I can play just this card somewhere. I can play any one card, really. But I could play both of these. Or I could play both of these. There's three places where you can play on a sled. You can play on the brake and change out the brake. You can play on this dog or you can play on this dog. Once you're done doing that, the sleds will move. And the way they move is equal to the total of these two cards minus the break so right now this is pre-printed on here but it would move three because it's six minus three and you also check to see if one side is pulling more than the other and then the sled sort of drifts that way so in this case if this is what i did with my first turn then the sled is going to move a total of two because it's five minus three is two and it's running this way it'll drift this way because it's stronger by one so one and then I have to drift two and that's my turn then I draw a replacement card and it's the next player's turn so we'll take a look at their hand okay they're going to play this card and they're going to play it let me move this up here they're gonna play it here and so the total they are moving is five. They have to drift twice this way. So and you can really take that drift anytime you want. So you can go one, two, three, four, five. Or you could go one, two, three, four, five. Right now it doesn't matter, but there are ways where when it, you know there's times when it could affect what you want to do, either because other races are in your way, or there are trees in the way. Some of, some of the tiles tell you to put out some trees. So, that's done. And once everybody's gone, then the second round goes from the front of the track to the back. So blue is actually going to be next up to play again. Uh, if you hit someone, then you are going to take some damage. And the damage cards are just these blank cards, basically. Double-sided blank cards. All they do is limit your hand size because you have to hold these and when you draw you draw back up to five meaning you're holding fewer useful cards these are also as you can see on the board some speed gates and that means if you cross that line going faster than three you're going to take some damage because you're going into the curve and there are lots of different things over here obviously it's going to be a a chasm so it bottlenecks the whole track but that's basically it the main mechanism here is that you play cards you can change the break by playing a card 
And you know, you play one on there, and now I'm going speed four, still drifting one. You um, decide what you want to do, you play your cards, you draw back up, you move around people, you can only drift one way or the other. If you're going in a straight line, after you've moved the total you will move, then you might get a speed bonus based on the position in the race in which you're currently at. So, you know, if your dogs are pulling evenly, let's say I'm here. This doesn't work on the very, very first round of the game, by the way. But let's say this is the situation. I'm in second place. I pull forward three. One, two, three. My position in the race, that was an even pull. My position in the race is two. So I move forward two. So it's like a speed bonus for pulling evenly. But that's pretty much it. You come around, you build your track however you want to. There are lots and lots of options here for how you build your track. There's a lot of them that have trees, like I said. If you hit someone else, you do not take a damage for hitting people. You can hit, take damage for hitting the sides and for hitting trees. For hitting people, you stop moving, but you don't replenish your hand. So sometimes that's worthwhile, but that's basically the game. Try to finish out the, the lap here first, and you're the winner. Let me show you a couple more pieces of track that are really cool looking. These are one of the ones that has a bunch of trees. You put a tree on every one of these, and the people who hit them take them down. So someone ahead will typically clear path for you, but obviously they get hurt in the process. There's another one of those. There's some that make you move over one way or the other. Uh, another chasm here. That's a clear one. Some more clear ones. There's all these curves, one way and the other. By the way, when you build one of these tracks, you line up the flags here. So that, like speed four, for example, means coming into the curve, not, not this way. And then, this big bend. That's basically, and then what you see out here. So lots of, really, I mean, tons of possibilities to, to do whatever you want to win the game. The game plays, as you can see here, up to five. And if you start in position four, you get plus one card at the beginning. And if you start in position five, plus two cards. But that's basically it. I absolutely adore Snow Tails. I think it is a fantastic racing game. Just full of tactics, great card play, hand management, just a wonderful feeling of avoiding traffic. The trees are great. The narrow passages are great. I mean, the whole thing just flows beautifully while still making you think about what you want to do. And that's what I love about it. It marries tactics with theme, with a nice pace to, to, the, to the play, to the gameplay. Uh, the reprint itself as compared to the original one. Well, I, I'm technically not going to compare it to the original one. I'm going to compare it to the Asmodee one. I think the component quality is absolutely excellent. They did a great job with that. I, myself, am not a, a big fan of the cover, but that's neither here nor there. Who cares, right? But the game itself absolutely deserved a reprint. It should be available. And the quality of this reprint is definitely up to par. So, I uh, got to give this one a big, big thumbs up. If you like racing games at all and have not checked this one out, you owe it to yourself, my friend, to check out Snow Tales. I, I, this is, I mean, a really highly rated racing game for me. And it's already a genre I really like. Check this one out. Don't let this one go out of print again without you taking a look at it. Let's keep it in print, folks. Snow Tales. Two thumbs up from me. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.